The Hitachi S3700N Variable Pressure SEM features a low vacuum observation of 6 to 270 pascals, which enables imaging of non-conductive samples, such as dielectrics and wet samples such as cultured cells, without traditional sample preparation. A deep and cool stage controls sample temperature between negative 10 degrees Fahrenheit and 120 degrees Fahrenheit to control sample vapor pressure. The first step of using the VPSEM is to vent the chamber if it is not already vented. To do this, click air either in the center of the display screen or use the physical button on the front of the SEM. The chamber will vent during the sample preparation process. While the chamber is venting, we will mount our sample onto the stage slash stage holder. A single stage holder is available at the SEM station for general public use. There are varying sizes of stages. Choose the stage that is closest in size to your sample and attach the stage to the top of the stage holder. If you require special characteristics or desire your own mount, it is your responsibility to have a machine shop prepare one that has the correct dimensions to fit the holder. The sample's width dimension should not be wider than the stage, and the sample's height dimensions should not exceed 55 millimeters when compared to the height gauge. If your sample is non-conductive, you will need to sputter gold or carbon onto the surface of the sample unless you are using the VPSEM vacuum setting. The sample may be attached using either the copper tape provided on the table opposite the SEM or with carbon dot tape. Ensure that plenty of adhesive is used. There should be no air gaps between the sample and the stage. When your sample is properly attached to the mount, measure the width of the stage as well as the height from the top of the sample. Measure width with the orange caliper and height with the height gauge. Open the specimen setting screen in the PC window and enter the measured height and width into the pop-up window. Open the vented chamber and load the stage and sample onto the platform. Do not close the chamber until the height and width are properly typed into the PC window. Carefully close the chamber while ensuring the sample does not collide with the check gauge. If it does collide, then your sample will collide with the detector or pull piece. Lower the height by 1mm and try again. Once the sample has been inserted into the chamber and the chamber doors have been closed, the chamber is now ready to be pumped down to a vacuum. First, set the vacuum mode to either SEM or VPSEM. For the purposes of this training video, we will be using VPSEM and set the VPSEM vacuum level. While holding the chamber door closed, press the evac button to begin pumping the chamber. The progress of pumping may be seen on the on-screen pressure gauge. If VPSEM mode was chosen, choose a reasonable vacuum level for initial imaging. If you do not know which conditions to set for your non-conductive samples, try a poor vacuum, like 100 pascals. While the chamber is pumping down, set the initial instrument conditions. On the conditions tab, choose the appropriate voltage, probe current, BSC gain, and vacuum. Voltage ranges from 0 to 30 kilovolts. Generally speaking, higher voltage gives better resolution and lower voltage gives better surface features. Lower voltage is best for non-conductive samples, while higher voltage is for conductive samples. Probe current dictates the amount of electrons sending information to the detectors. High probe current is good to begin, but low probe current is good for high magnification. BSC gain changes the electronic amplifier for the signal. Two or three is normal for low magnification, and four is used for high magnification. Vacuum can be changed at any time in the VPSCM mode. Set a vacuum level that minimizes charging while maximizing resolution. Strong vacuum equals a high resolution. Once the chamber is pumped down to the appropriate vacuum level, click the high voltage button to apply voltage and begin viewing your sample. If no current is displayed when a voltage is applied, the filament is burned out and will need to be replaced. Please contact the trainer so that the proper steps can be taken. At this point, an image should appear. If the screen is too dark or too light, adjust the brightness or contrast with the ABCC or by using the manual dials on the console. 
Once you're able to see an image, continue adjusting the focus, voltage, vacuum level, probe current, brightness and contrast, aperture, and stigma to create a clear picture. Refer to notes from the training session for details. Use the Capture button to acquire an image. Once an image is acquired, it can be saved and exported to a post-imaging analysis software. The PCI software allows image manipulation and measurement among other capabilities. For the full instructions on these features, please refer to the manual. When you are finished capturing images, turn off the e-beam, set the sample to home Z65, and vent the chamber. Once the chamber is vented, remove the sample and pump the chamber back down. Keeping the chamber under vacuum prevents moisture and debris from building up inside the chamber. Once the chamber is evacuated, you may leave and continue on with your day.